Hello and welcome to day seven of our 21 day yoga reset with slow flow yoga and three yin yoga poses in our sessions that are about 30 ish minutes and doable for each and every one of us. They are all levels and I am happy to be here with you. I hope that you join me on your yoga mat and today we are going to do, we're going to spin off a little bit of what we have been doing the last six days of external rotation, open hips into a funky Hanuman pose. So join me for that today. Okay friends, we are going to start laying down on our back and as you know, we take Shavasana in our relaxation at the very end of our practice. So let's come on down onto our backs, please. And from here, take your knees into your chest for an upward facing child's pose or simply also to ground and root our femurs, open up into lower back and stretch the spine, hamstrings and adductors and just kind of ground back down into our seventh day, our 21 day yoga reset. For here, we're going to take our right knee into the chest and right arm inside your right leg and outside of the right foot for one leg happy baby kind of prepping our adductors for a funky hanuman where we take a leg out to the side towards the end of these 30 or so minutes we're going to inhale and exhale right here one more breath knee towards shoulder foot up towards the sky left hand is helping us to keep the left quad down in the leg, hips are even, and slowly come with the knees into the chest, and left leg into the chest, and right leg extends forward, spread your toes, engage all the muscles into the bones, hugging everything in, and then from here, take your left hand, arm inside your left leg, bending your knee out to the outside of your left shoulder, right hand to the right quad, press your left foot down, inhale and exhale, and external rotation warm up for our left leg hip area, one more breath right here, Hmm. and slowly bringing it back in, knees to the chest, and hands underneath the knees, and we're going to roll on up, and cross the legs, come to tabletop, spread the fingers, second finger forward, shoulders and wrists are stacked, tuck the toes, cat pose, arch the belly up to the front of the spine, expand the back body, the spine, and release the neck, and slowly inhale, upper arm bones into the shoulder socket and lengthen out through the top of the head and exhale, press the hands, the knees and the toes down and you might start to feel all kinds of different muscles that have awakened up or maybe new muscles being used this last six days of yoga together. Exhale, press the hands, the knees, the toes down and then come to neutral spine and step, let's step our knees back and feet down and then lift up into downward facing dog. Onto the toes, bend the knees, stretching to the toes. We have this opportunity to lengthen in towards the arms, towards the torso, claw the fingertips, right heel down, left toes are onto the mat, stretch into the back of your right leg and switch sides, left heel down, stretch into the left back of the leg, inhale and exhale, and gently from there, down facing dog, palms down, but they lift up almost at the same time, and we claw the fingertips at the same time. One more breath, and then inhale, come back up onto your toes, bend your knees, look between the hands, and take a step over to the hands, front of your mat, inhale, long spine, exhale, hinge and fold, feet are hip widths apart, take your hands to hips, elbows to sky, root your feet and come to standing. And from there, release the hands, inhale, arms to sky, 
and exhale, hinge and fold. We're gonna start with sun salutations and a couple of external rotation lunges. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, place your hands, step back to plank pose. Shoulders and wrists are stacked. Bend your knees to the mat, engage your abdominals, come all the way down, stretch your legs back. Inhale, low cobra, shoulder blades back. Pull the ears back, stretch the belly, and exhale, bringing back down and push into child's pose like a nice big wave. See if your hands can stay in the front for extension into the side body and come to tabletop and come to down dog. From here, step your right foot outside of your right hand, left knee is lifted, back leg is straight, turn those right toes out to the side. Extend out through the top of the head. Use blocks for hands if the floor is too far away. If you're ready for more, then you come down onto your forearms. Pull the belly in, knee over ankle, extend out through the top of the head, through the tip of the tailbone, engage the front side. And turn your toes forward, engage your core, step back down dog, switch legs, Left foot outside of your left hand, extend your left toes out to the side, knee is over the ankle, come up high onto your right toes, extend out through the top of the head, pull the belly button in, give yourself a few breaths right here, inhale and exhale, and slowly bringing it all the way back, turning your toes forward and then step it back. Down dog, plank pose, lower knees to mat to engage your core. The moment the knees hit down, belly button pulls in and then gently bring yourself down. Inhale, low cobra, pull your chest forward, ears back, lengthen the spine and bring your chest forward and up, bring your ears back and exhale, bringing it back down, push back, one breath in child's pose, one nice big breath and wave for the spine and tabletop, tuck the toes, downward facing dog and then we'll step the right foot outside of the right hand again, step your right foot outside the right hand Turn your toes out and karate chop your pinky toe side down into the mat. Perhaps the toes are outside, maybe half on, half off. Extend the back leg, pull the belly in, strong front of the spine and big turn into the right hip, into the rotators. Big external rotation, karate chop your right pinky toe side strongly down. One more breath right here. And exhale, place your right foot flat and then step it back with the help of your core. Step your left foot outside of your left hand. Turn your left toes out diagonally to the left side and then come over onto your pinky toe side of your foot and karate chop your little pinky toe side down onto the mat. I think you can see it like right there. It's turned out and it is like a little bit of fireworks all the way in towards the left hip. So we're kind of pressing the shin in and the thigh widens. It becomes this nice rebound effect for hugging knee in and for turning and awakening into rotators and adductors. One more breath and then take your left foot forward and step back, downward facing dog. Come forward to plank pose, lower the knees, engage the core, come all the way down, straighten your toes back, spread them, inhale to cobra, pull the ears back and exhale, bringing it back down and push back, child's pose, big toes together, knees apart and gently come back up, step back, downward facing dog, Come up onto your toes, bend your knees, and take your step over to the hands. Inhale, long spine, feet hip widths apart, and exhale, hinge and fold. 
hands to hips, elbows to sky, root your feet and come to standing and release the hands. Step one foot wide and we'll meet together right here facing each other. Turn your heels in. So second position, ballet style, uh, maybe even a little bit, a lot wider. Take your arms out to the side and then we push the knees out and continue to spin onto that external rotation. Take your hands on top of your knees, thumbs facing down, right shoulder into the center, bend your left elbow and lift your left elbow up and back. Twist and turn into the right side of the waist and also into the adductors and up and over. And you might feel those side angles from yesterday, from the seated practice into that lumbar spine. One more breath here. And exhale, come all the way back up. Arms to the side. Sit a little deeper. We can do it. Take your right forearm to the right thigh, left arm up, and taking it up and over. And taking the gaze underneath the upper arm. And switching second side, take a breath in the center, left arm, left shoulder, right arm up. Engage, pushing your left forearm into the knee, long side body, sink a little deeper. Take the gaze up and underneath the upper arm. One more breath here. And gently come all the way back up. And let's just sit a little bit deeper. And then press the feet, turn the toes. Hands behind, roll the shoulders up and back. Take the ears back and hinge and fold forward with that slight micro bend into your knees. Top of the head towards the mat. Roll the shoulders up and away from the ears. Hands can stay on the sacrum. Hands, arms can extend up and up and over. Inhale and exhale a few more breaths. Long neck, shoulders away from ears, head towards the floor. Then we'll stay one more breath right here and then exhale, release hands to sacrum. Take the hands down to the mat and extend the arms. From here, come to the front of the mat, turn back to your downward facing dog. Press the palms, lift the upper arm bones and come up onto the toes. Come to, uh, to plank pose, shoulders and wrists are stacked, and then knees down, come all the way down, inhale to cobra, low cobra, pull the chest forward and up, extend all the way up, top of the head to the sky, exhale, come back down, child's pose, big toes together, knees apart, and gently Make your way back up, tabletop, just like a nice big wave. And coming with your left foot. For me, it's my left foot. Take your right, if that means that we're facing each other. And then we're going to come and face forward again. Right elbow into the right knee. Flip your right toe slightly out. One side, Skandasana. We'll stay right here warming up into our or opening up really awaken we're not sitting all the way down we're hugging the muscles so we're slightly levitating and activating all of the muscles and then up and over second side elbow into the knee turn your left toes slightly out a few more breaths right here and come back up onto feet wide apart Heel of the hands aligned with the heel of the feet, arch the belly and take your top of the head towards the mat. Do the ponytail, it makes it a little bit helpful. And then from there, extend into the legs, tuck your toes slightly in, wake up into hamstrings to the back, pull the inner edges of the legs towards the midline. One more breath right here. And then we'll extend the arms and come to a flat back bend your knees slightly and then from here turn your um, right heel in for a little closer space between your feet 
If you turn only your toes out, then it becomes a little wider. Right hand behind the right shin ankle. Let's take the left hand to the hip and really detail the legs. Four corners of the feet down into the mat. Squeeze the muscles into the bones. Take the gaze up to the sky. Bottom ribs forward, top ribs back. Left arm up, Trikonasana. Triangle pose onto our right side. One more breath here. And exhale, hand to hip, gaze down, and then we'll come back to the center through Prasarta Padottanasana. And then either take your left heel in or left toes out, or maybe a little bit of both. Make sure it feels good for adductors and hips. Left hand behind your shin ankle, you bring a block in if needed. Squeeze the muscles into the bones, mound of the big toes are pressing down. And then we'll take the right hand to the hip, bottom ribs forward, top ribs back, take the gaze up to the sky, and perhaps the arm all the way up as well. Shoulder blades down on the back, squeeze the muscles, press the feet down, engage in towards the core, and exhale, release, bringing your hand to the hip, gaze down, hands down, and then we'll come to the center, and take the heel of the hands again between the heel of your feet, arch the belly and see if it feels different to fold forward. Shoulder blades away from the ears. And gently from here, extend the arms and we'll come to the front of the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. Come to a wide down dog, feet on each side. And come and wiggle a little bit back and forth and adjust and let ligaments and tendons find its new home in our legs and our hips. Feet hip widths apart, downward facing dog, maybe on the toes with bent knees and sacrum lift and freedom in the spine. Maybe the hamstrings are awakened, calves, Achilles to get your heels to the mat. From down dog, come to plank pose. From plank pose, knees down, core is engaged the whole time. Gently make your way back down, come to low cobra. We're looking for length and ears back and exhale, taking it all the way back down, push back, child's pose. And gently come all the way up onto your knees, tuck the toes and we're gonna come up and stretch a little bit into the back of the neck before we come to our funky Hanuman. Legs are ready. Let's get the spine a little bit more ready. Bring the shoulders up and back. Take the ears back. And we're getting the spine ready by hugging the midline. So we take the top of the head towards the mat and then from there, arms up to the sky for body pose. Hugging the belly in, nice and strong. Arms to the sky, shoulders away from ears. Free up inner shoulder, free up the neck. Find your core. Also a preparation for towards the very end of our 21 days where we have headstand coming up. So we just start to kind of tap in to the top of the head a little bit on day seven today. And then gently take your hands back down to the sacrum and come to tabletop. And then we're gonna take down dog. And then we're gonna come forward one more time for our slow flow vinyasa. Shoulders and wrists are stacked. Claw the fingertips, knees down. Hug your core, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Lengthen your legs back. And exhale, take it all the way back down. Push back, child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart. And gently make your way back up, tabletop. And downward facing dog. Now step your right foot outside of your right hand. Turn your right toes out and bend down into the front knee and then extend the front leg. And then we'll bend back down. I think we did this also in the second day of our yoga reset. One more, inhale and exhale. And then from here, come down with your left knee onto the mat, extend your right leg, pigeon toe, your right foot. 
So now you have your right leg at an angle out to the side and coming to Funky Hanuman onto your adductors on your right side and your quad onto your left side. So pigeon toe your right foot, adductors, hip flexors, lower belly, knees, we reset them with this fun and funky Hanuman pose. A few more breaths right here and enjoying and having fun, taking it to wherever it's taking us. Maybe we're halfway up, maybe we're down on our forearms. Slowly make your way back up and bring your knee back down into tabletop. And then from there, tuck the toes and come to down dog. Step your left foot outside of your left hand, turn your toes out just like in the beginning and then we're going to sink on down and extend left heel down, toes up and then we'll come back down, inhale, extend out through the top of the head and exhale, heel down, toes up and slowly bring it back one more a full extension on the spine and a big stretch for our adductors and hamstrings and then gently we'll come back down take the knee to the mat and then extend your left leg pigeon toe your left leg the left toes and then we'll come all the way down so we're on to our right quadricep and our left inner thigh and we can lift the belly and the heel is down on the left side the toes are spread right quad left adductors pull the ears back or maybe you're decided to lay flat down onto your belly waking up into adductors rearranging kind of spinning off a little bit of our frog pigeon pose the other day, which I believe was two days ago. Pull the ears back and then slowly come back and pull the leg back, come to tabletop, arch the belly and come to cat and cow pose. And one more time, exhale, pull the belly in, full extension, press hands, knees and toes and inhale and exhale come to neutral spine pull the belly button in exhale come all the way back to your down dog we're gonna bridge ourselves into our three yin yoga poses the first one is cobra we're gonna come over to plank pose lower the knees come all the way down to our belly and then lengthen the toes back and then from there come to our forearm yin yoga cobra pose for today you can widen your feet i would recommend tucking the toes and just lifting the legs and checking that our quads are straight down and then from there flattening it out the toes and then the toes can relax the head can relax what's active is our forearms certainly holding on if we needed to we'll put something soft underneath the elbows it should the weight should be like on the underarm muscly area long neck lower back kind of lengthening and it's like we get a chance to bring our sacrum into a nice even back bend for the next 15 breaths or so with a nice extension on the spine at the same time with the weight from the head inhale and exhale and there should be a nice buzzing in the body after our different external rotation for our legs we should feel Nice and open for legs from the hips down to the feet and below. The 
stay for another five breaths here. And slowly lift your head and bring your elbows to the side. Come down onto the belly. The next pose is child's pose. Hands by shoulders. Come to tabletop. Bring your knees wide as your yoga mat. Big toes together. Certainly take a pillow underneath your belly or perhaps a block if you feel like more support. For now, arms forward and forehead down to the mat and elbows to the side and child's pose the seat should be heavy down onto our onto our heels plugging and rooting your femurs back in releasing into lower back And we get to just be heavy here. Torso heavy, hips are heavy. Femurs are plugging into the hips, releasing, turning and churning into the rotators, into glutes, into hip socket. And we'll stay here for another five breaths, nice and heavy in the hips, closing down our Bhakti Hanuman practice for our day seven with child's pose. And then we also have happy baby pose. And one more breath here and then hands by the shoulders and push yourself up let's take tabletop and downward facing dog tuck the toes extend and then come to right heel down and left heel down walk your feet nice and easy over to our hands and then we're gonna Bend down, down, and come to our happy baby pose. Come down onto your back, press your head, adjust your shoulder blades, arms inside the legs, hands outside the feet, sacrum down to the mat, releasing adductors, lower backs, hips, hamstrings, knees towards shoulders 
and see if we can do anterior tilting on the hips so the lower back is not taking the full pressure from this pose but it's down on the sacrum and we get and the shoulder blades and the back of the head and then we get a little bit more elongation and length into the lower back lumbar spine the flexors quadratus lumborum adductors we'll stay another five breaths here gently bringing the knees together, hugging the arms around the knees. And from here, you can come with me and we'll do one more, just like a way to get down into Shavasana, or you can extend to Shavasana. Hands by the hips, legs to the sky, feet together, pull the belly in, bring your legs up and over into a plow, upward facing forward bend, and then we're gonna roll down vertebrae by vertebrae feet together hugging the midline and lower back is into the mat feet comes all the way to the mat and then letting the feet open up and our hands open up and we are complete for our day seven of our 21 day yoga reset together and again, let's stay in our Shavasana for as long as we feel needed until we feel like the kind of the energy buzzing right outside of our physical body has kind of calmed down. And when that has kind of calmed down, that's, that's like a good sign that all the poses energetically has found its right and whole place. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day eight. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining for this day seven of our 21 day yoga reset with slow flow yoga and yin yoga to feel good in our bodies and maybe getting downloads of starting something anew. And if you would like to visit all 21 of these videos, they are up located under playlists and they're easy to find. And if you have a friend that you would like to share them with, please feel free to share my videos with any of your friends. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.